So, uh, the other day I asked everybody what they wanted to see, and a lot of people uh, posted they wanted to see what supplements I take. Now, I want to preface this in saying that one is uh, I own a couple uh, retail stores and I own uh, core nutritionals, obviously, so um, I understand that having all the access to all these supplements is not going to be feasible for a lot of people. Um, but I really try to limit my supplement intake to products that I really feel work. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of core stuff in here, but I also use other brands as well and incorporate that into all the different stacks and stuff. So today, I'm just basically going to go over what I use before, during, and after my training. So um, probably later this week when I go and pack uh, pills and vitamins and things like that for the week, um, I'll take that as well. And so you can kind of see the other things I take like uh, joint health products and uh, basic multivitamins and things like that. But so to start uh, every day and sometimes I pack for a couple days, um, I prepare all my pre-workout, intra-workout, and post-workout supplements together. So to start, um, pre-workout. So first thing, I'm training legs today, so I probably won't take many of these. This is Yoked by USP Labs. Yoke 3D um, is basically arginine nitrate. So the nitrates give you a really sick pump. So today uh, is leg day, so I can't take more than three or otherwise I can't walk, my legs get too pumped. So that's the first thing I take pre-workout. So in my pre-workout and during workout concoction, of course the staple is gonna be core ABC, branch chain amino acids, beta alanine, citrulline malate, glutamine. Uh, tastes awesome. Most of you guys probably know about this one. So for me, during my uh, during my training, I usually put three scoops in here. I'll water this down throughout the training too. So it's three scoops in this little bottle. It's pretty uh, sweet, but I have a gallon jug with me, so I water it down. And then before my training, I do two. This is watermelon. Watermelon is my favorite right now. Um, I go through different phases and kicks and stuff. So. Core ABC, that's the staple. Uh, branch chain amino acids is really important. Um, what else am I pre-workout? HMB. So this is a uh, core commodity HMB. This product is awesome. Um, there's a lot of studies on this showing how effective this is. Um, now, back in the day, it came out and you know some of the marketing kind of killed the product because it was a little ri ridiculous. Uh, HMB in recent years, there's been a lot more studies and. Um, is really making a comeback. So this is powdered HMB from Core Commodities. Um, it's, you're supposed to take three grams a day, spread throughout. I just take three, three grams in my pre-workout, um, just because I don't really feel like taking it other times of the day. So I do three grams in my pre-workout. So that's HMB. Um, taurine. Sometimes I take taurine. Sometimes not. I'm not super consistent with it. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if I really feel a huge difference, but sometimes, you know, it, it helps with uh, endurance, cramping, uh, focus. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that this uh, seems to help with. Um, I'm not going to take any today. Uh, Agmatine sulfate, definitely a great product. A lot of cool new studies coming out on this as well. Um, but again, this is going to be, you know, a pump type product. Um, I mean, arginine is basically dead. You want to be using agatine sulfate. So I do about 1.5 grams pre-workout. Um, then also, this is a test booster. This is a Mark Leviner's company. Uh, this is Barracuda. So this is part of my uh, natural test boosting stack, which I'm running right now. So this is just a powder, so it's easy to take pre-workout and just mixes up with everything. So I'll do one scoop of this. <coughs> so that's in there. That's the Barracuda by MTS. Um, also in my intro, just because um, I have access to it, I like to throw some extra bulk BCAs in there. So this is the Core Commodities Bulk BCA. So I'll just throw five grams in my during workout. And during workout is basically done then, so we'll just get this ready. Um, my pre-workout, where's my pre-workout? So I alternate pre-workouts. Um, sometimes I use the old Core's app. I uh, love the Core Fury. I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to use today, 
Um, when I use this, I use probably about one, 1 1.5 scoops. Uh, so I'll throw this in my pre-workout. Um, and again, I have access to a lot of different samples and things from different companies. So I'm always trying new pre-workouts, you know, just so that we can perfect our own formula as well. And I think, you know, I still feel that this is one of the best one out there. So I'll probably use this today. Um, so that's my, that's my uh, pre-workout. Post-workout. Uh, Post-workout for me always starts with 5 grams of creatine on a hydrate from Core Commodities. It looks like I just ran out, so I'm going to have to grab some out of the cabinet. But 5 grams creatine monohydrate in the post-workout. Um, you don't have to load creatine just one time a day. 5 grams is fine. Now, I have two different things here. I have the Core PWO, and then I just have plain whey isolate. Um, the reason why I have two here is, you know, when I'm starting to get lower in my diet, I really like to just eat food because your food gets lower. So in the, in the growth season, in the beginning of my diet, I'm using the core PWO. It um, has a 3 to 2 ratio of carbs to protein, added BCAs, added goodies, and it tastes like liquid cocoa puffs. So this is, I blow through this all the time. Um, right now, post-workout, what I'm doing is, this is leg day, so uh, I got to, uh, it, it depends on, the volume depends on what I'm training, but uh, this is a cup of oats, so I'll do that immediately after I work out. I just eat them raw. And then I'll do uh, between a scoop and a half and two scoops of just a whey isolate. And I kind of use that as like the milk <laughs> to throw on top of the, the oats and just eat that post-workout. Um, today's a high day, so my, my protein's a little bit lower. So I'm just going to do uh, 1.5 scoops of this, which with the oats is about 40 grams of protein post-workout. So nothing crazy. Um, and that's my, that's my post-workout. Um, and that's about it. So um, there you can see, I mean, pretty much all the, the staples, all these are pretty much tried and true products. Um, I think uh, before, during, and post-workout nutrition and supplementation is definitely the most important time of day. People can say meal timing and meal, supplement timing and all that doesn't mean crap, but I think that's, I think that's total bull. Um, and so I really believe in having the timing of supplements and things right. Um, so that's it guys, um, that's it for now. I'll come back um, later and show you kind of the rest of the, the, just the multivitamins and different pills and things like that that I take as well. So talk to you later.